Okay, you guys, top water Tony. Um, trying to find some more uh, tornado damage. I'm out here in uh, Brookville, Ohio, at the Brookville High School. And you know, for the most part, you know, this 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 school here really just had the roof taken off. And so it's really not too bad. Over here we got some main doors blown out. But overall, not too bad. So, you know, this, I guess this uh, F3 tornado just kind of bounced around and just did a little damage. All right, guys. We are in Brookville, one of the neighbor. Well, all right, guys. We're in Brookville, one of the neighborhoods hardest hit. And you can see people uh, putting roofs on. Oh my God. Yeah, this looks like a major hit here in Brookville. We're gonna go down the street here. The street sign. Where are we at? Woodfield Drive. And yeah, this looks as bad as uh, Dayton does. I think this was like an F3, F3 uh, tornado. Wow. Looks like everybody has moved out. I mean, they had to. You can see clean through that house. And the trees are stripped and bent and broken. This house is completely gone, 221 Woodfield. It's like you have Dewey Ewing now, but it got even, there was even more down the other way. I guess we'll get this side over here. Uh, what's the point in everybody? thank you on their wood because they would were wooded up is that why the I, homeowners are happy because they weren't getting looted or something maybe that help uh, moving their stuff out i guess okay. so we need to go straight up the street here right yeah because we turned in that way yeah so straight through. i saw a shed or something moved off its uh spot that it was sitting Look at the view from the street. Look at the trees. Ugh. Man. So the rebuilding begins. They've got people working on their house. Roof totally gone. You can see through the whole house. Man. Don't really know what to say. Brookville Strong. Hashtag Brookville Strong. So I think this is a neighborhood right in back of the high school. I can imagine the debris directly after the tornado. There would have been stuff everywhere. I didn't see it. I probably got it on video. <sighs> we 
which way do we go now? Looks like maybe there were still, I thought, like blue tarps. Yeah, I think they're going right back. They get lucky. Just missing a garage door. That seems to be like a common bit of damage. It's all, all the garage doors, most of the garage doors are missing. I mean, this isn't looking too bad here. It's a window out. A little bit of roof damage. More roof damage over here. Some more stuff back here. It's a little cold aside. Some houses aren't too bad, some are really bad. Unreal, that piece that I haven't looked touched, I'm not gonna look at this. Jeez. friends on the wall, mm -hmm. friends and family. Look how sweet that is. So... Okay, this is probably hard to see. I'm shooting through the windshield and sort of into the sun. But I went past this area before a while back and um, an insurance lady told me that this house back here that you can probably barely see is totally demolished. And there was a old lady, older lady in there during the tornado that survived. So that's pretty remarkable. Well, we're just following the uh, path of a tornado. I don't know what road we just turned on. Uh, but there's quite a bit of damage right here off of uh, Westbrook. And I bet this was a mess the day after, the morning after. Trees down everywhere. There's a house here. <clears throat> There's one driveway blocked off. I couldn't get in there. All these see this trees are down. down. Holy. Wow. Looks like nothing has been touched down here. That's one big, big tree that got snapped. Chimney's still standing. We have more damage out there in the field. This house did okay, just the roof. Plenty of debris to get pushed off the road. Just turned on uh, Crestwood Estates, somewhat off of uh, Westbrook, and these big, beautiful homes look like they got hit pretty, pretty good. Oh. Oh no, it's their stone. I should be 
film on on this side. When I come back out, I get that side. That truck in the backyard? Yeah. Looks like it's aiming right for the house. Yeah, this is all blocked, blocked off, uh, unaccessible miles here before. <clears throat> Way too much uh, debris and everything. Beautiful houses. I think that was blocked off too, which is why. Up all in the road. I hear a weed whacker. Pause. When you see kid stuff. Okay, here's, we've seen this quite a few times. Here's a house that's like almost totally destroyed. Actually, it's pretty much totally destroyed. And somehow right next to it is a house that, well, it's touched a little bit. It's got some broken windows. But, you know, total devastation on one side and the next house is not too bad. You know, livable. Here's one over here that's across the street is uh, another one's totally damaged. And there's a house for sale sign. Mm. There's another one looking pretty bad. Another one. Oh, my hand is shaking. Okay guys, well I know I said that it was going to be my last video on the uh, storm damage, but I decided to come up here to Beaver Creek, Ohio, which is about 20 minutes or so away from the Dayton area of tornadoes. And I'm on Esquire Drive, checking out a few businesses. And this here, what is this called? It's a little cafe. Now, you know, it's been about two months, so there's been some um, reconstruction going on. So things are looking a little better. Over here is a National Tire Battery. It has definitely received a pretty good amount of damage from the storm. And from the looks of the area, somehow it missed quite a few businesses and hit a few. We're going to get around here. We can't see a whole lot right now. We're on the backside of uh, Mike's car wash. I don't know how much we can get of that. They've got a big fence around it. But here's the front of uh, National Tire and Battery. And I don't know if there was something there that they tore down and started rebuilding or it was new construction already. I don't know. <clears throat> Here's the back of a business here. Closed down. Here's the back of Mike's car wash, which is totally shut down and in the process of rebuilding. Lakeview Business Estates received some roof damage. Not too bad over there.
going to take a little ride into um, Mallard Landing. I see some trees kind of taken down over here. Okay, here's some roof damage over there. Roof damage over here. Lots of trees down over there. And once again, it looks like the storm kind of, or the tornado kind of skipped around. Because this is a heavily populated area. I'm going to take a look over here. Here we got a little more damage, but it's mainly roofing, a couple windows. Not, nothing too bad. Over here, more of the same. We got some siding stripped away. Roofing. Siding. So this, I don't know if it was F2, F3, F4, or, or what, but that's more siding. But, uh, it almost looks like maybe uh, just the the winds are like on the edge of the tornado. Windows taken out. But the places overall are fine for the most part. Definitely still livable. Got a side taken out of the roof up there. So this doesn't look too bad. Coming up on a dead end. That's kind of bad there, but definitely still livable, but it doesn't look like they're home. Kind of catching these buildings on the side here. Kind of interesting. Huh. There's the other side of that this house. Still not too bad though, considering. Same, same thing for this one. Got it on the sides. Oh, <laughs> all of them. I had a, that's kind of strange. Same thing for this house here. It's almost like the winds kind of blew through, through the top of the, the roofing in the attic. Same thing for these over here. Got those two front, two front houses. Trees down. A little bit of frontal damage. All right, here's a Mexican restaurant here in this plaza across from Mike's, Mike's uh, car wash. <clears throat> All the windows are, well, most of the windows are knocked out and it looks like they are closed for a while until the damages are taken care of. Got a lot of debris over there. And this is two months after, so a lot of the debris the morning after has already been cleaned up. Okay, keep on going around here. Uh, looks like a pretty good hole on this side. And a chair out there. Looks like a lot of rocks and stuff. <clears throat> Shatter the window of that entry door there.
take a look at the building next to it. Here's a business next to it, Permati Brothers. A few windows knocked out. Shouldn't be too long before these businesses are back up and running. Let's take a look at the front. Overall, not too bad. Like I said, I think uh, it's really weird. I think it's almost like the uh, tornado went straight down the main street. Because Hobby Lobby back there. And what was that other? PetSmart and what was that? Target. Doesn't look like they were hit. Maybe they were. Like I said, this is two months later. So a lot of the debris and whatnot has already been cleaned up. So let's take a look out here. This side over here. Siding stripped away. So I could be wrong. Hobby Lobby. Zoom in. It doesn't look like they're open. They look like I can see like the door right there has been kind of, I can't keep my finger still, uh, has been boarded up. So maybe they're closed. Actually, wait a minute. That's 545 right now on Sunday, so maybe they're closed anyway. I don't know. But that building's not bad. These buildings aren't bad. I mean, they're not even, I don't think they're hit unless they've already changed those windows. And Target is open down there. So I don't know. Grange Hall, I heard, was uh, I think that's the road I just came off of. Had some damage, but that's a major road. And there's really no place to park to get any shots. Ugh. So, I don't know. All right, as I said before, Mike's car wash is totally shut down until repairs are made. There's a fence around it. Looks like they've got a lot of the, uh, or most of the de debris taken care of. So maybe they'll uh, get open soon. Let me tur turn around here. All right, next to Mike's is this uh, little plaza here, which the roof is totally taken off of it. And the side here is taken out. We got Jets Pizza. Hearing Center. Gemini Eye, Gemini Eye Care. All shut down until repairs are made. I don't know what this building is here. This, this doesn't look too bad. It looks like the fence is all messed up. Windows are okay. Not too bad overall. Here's a Universal One Credit Union. Now, theirs don't look too bad at all. Windows are still in, unless they've already been replaced, but it looks like they're just closed for today. Like I said, it's Sunday. I mean, I'm Saturday. Saturday. What day is it? <laughs> a little bit of roof damage there. Not a big deal. Not bad at all. All right, moving on. Okay, we're off of uh, Grange Hall Road in a little housing development. And uh, not too bad, you know, once again, just, oops, turn this down. Bunch of uh, roof damage, mainly. Roof and siding.
We got some repairs already going on on this roof here. It's kind of a hot day to do that, but I guess it's got to be done. Jeez. So it's just kind of more of the same. Luckily these houses are still standing. Just gonna roll through a little bit and get out. A lot of activity. Putting the pieces back together. It looks like I uh, just came off a of null road. I'm on Butterfield Drive. This looks like it's a little more, a little more heavier damage. I know that wasn't good grammar, but I'm trying to drive and videotape. Make sure I don't run over anybody, anything. This one looks pretty bad. A lot of, a lot of debris. Out to be picked up. Yeah, this looks like the worst of the of the neighborhood, really. Turn down the radio. This house here is pretty bad. Should say houses. Some roof damage down there, down there. Hmm. Got something flat, flattened over there. I don't know what that was. A, if that was a garage or carport or what. Looks like we're, oh, this one's, this one's really bad here. Got a whole chunk taken out of it. More debris to be picked up. It might have been a carport that got taken out. Roof damage. These houses over here look like they're untouched. So not too bad at all on, the, on this street here. Looks like they're going to need a whole new roof. Looks like it's getting a little worse. Maybe got the roofing material on top. Ready to start working. Okay, looks like I just made a circle here. All right, we are still off of Grange Hall. Looks like Fairfield Lakes apartments. We got some cars here, so I guess there's still people living here. Come on, ducks. Move it. Move it. Come on, I got stuff to do. All right. Yeah, these 
are pretty bad here. Looks like the side's about to fall down on this one. Occupied. Uh-oh. Time to turn around. You got me blocked in. Okay, the other side of uh, Grange Hall, I do believe. You can definitely see the uh, track of the tornado. Just follow it to see the damage. Going to turn down Rolling View off of Graham Drive. I have no words. Right up the street, right down the street, right to those apartments that I just came from. Tree stripped. This poor house is totally gone. Most of it. Probably going to be a tear down to rebuild. These houses don't look too bad down here. This one's stripped a little bit. I don't know what's going on back here, but I'm not going to find out. Poor little house. They're getting at it with the uh, cleaning and rebuilding. Kind of miss these houses, a little bit of roof damage. Not a big deal, trees. Cars look all right. Here that's been stripped away. It's a skeleton. Who street is this? Darden Drive. All right, I'm gonna cut it for a minute.